Hey guys, so the purpose of this tutorial is to help you install Pygame for uh, Eclipse. Um, and we're going to do it with the PowerShell in this tutorial rather than through Eclipse itself. Um, so if you watch the other video and it didn't work for whatever reason, um, here's an alternate solution. And so um, we're going to try that. Uh, so what you want to do is open up PowerShell. This is a Windows 10 program. I'm not sure if it's on Windows 7 or not. Um, if you're running a, lo a lower version of Windows, you can type command prompt, and it should act pretty much the same. Um, what you want to do is run it as an administrator. Make sure you right-click and say run as an administrator. Otherwise, um, it might not be able to do the install, depending on permissions that you have. All right, and then you'll see this command prompt uh, type window come up. Now, what you need to do is type in the path to the Python folder. So if you're not sure of where that path is, um, in your search bar, you could type in Python. And what will come up is this Python 3.6 or wherever your, your um, executable is installed. And so you can go ahead and right click on this and say open file location and that'll pull up where it is on your pro on your computer and you can right click this is actually the shortcut to it that's located in the start menu um, so you can, and you can tell because it has a little arrow there so we want to open this file location which is this executable here um, and it's in C drive program files Python 36 All right. and you should see a folder called scripts and if you click on that folder, you're going to see pip.exe. And we're going to, this is the program we're going to use. So we need to be able to tell um, PowerShell where pip is located in order to run, uh, run pip. Okay. And so I'm going to do that by, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the address from the, for the scripts folder. Um, so do, you can do control C or right click copy. Uh, and then in here, uh, you're not going to be able to paste, so you have to do Control-V. But we're going to type first CD. CD is a command to change the directory. And then you want to put actually a single quote. Um, c because the... The... Uh, the oops, it didn't copy to my clipboard. The uh, characters in here... It, it needs to have it as a read it in as a string, um, not as a literal. So uh, this is the and then an end quote there. And then go ahead and hit enter, and you'll see that now PowerShell is in that new folder, and I can now um, run pip. So pip is a and depending on your version of PowerShell, you might be able to just type pip, or you might need to add a dot backslash beforehand, and go ahead and hit enter. And what that should do is that should run. Um, the, and pull up this help menu and you can see the command we're going to use is install all right so we're going to do pip install and uh pygame all right and so we're going to type dot dot uh backslash pip install pygame and hit enter and um i've already installed it on this uh on this program and you'll see it gives you where it is so if i look in that folder um where is it? Lib site packages. I have Pygame installed here. So I've already gone through this process. I already have it. But if you don't have it, um, this should install it for you. Okay. Um, so that's that's it. That should work for you. And um, hopefully it does. Uh, if it doesn't, you know, let me know, and I can try and uh, figure figure that out. But hopefully, this is this will be a working solution for most everyone. Um, there's, it's possible. Uh, one 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 last thing, I guess. It's possible that if that doesn't work, you could try pip three. Um, since we're using Py Python version three, um, pip three is the version uh, related for Python three. I think on most machines it's the same, but so if, if the dot slash pip doesn't work, you could try um, dot slash pip three uh, install pygame, um, and that hopefully will work for you. So one of those two, hopefully, and um, yeah, if, there, if there's any other errors, let me know. Okay, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.